Ladies and gentlemen, there was a federal court ruling that happened, and it's not in our favor. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to ANN American News Network. I'm your host, Vlad. Let's get right into the article. Ah, this is not the news I wanted to be bringing today. Federal court rules Trump does not have presidential immunity from January 6th civil lawsuits. A federal appeals court on Friday ruled that Trump does not have immunity from January 6th civil lawsuits. Earlier this year, Joe Biden's Justice Department, Department of Injustice, said in a court ruling in the D.C. U.S. Court of Appeals that Donald Trump can be sued by police officers over January 6th. The DOJ lawyers argue that Trump does not have immunity from civil lawsuits by police officers. United States District Judge Amit Mehta, an Obama appointee, huh, no wonder, earlier this year rejected Trump's immunity claim. Speaking to the public on matters of public concern is a, is a traditional function of the presidency, and the outer perimeter of the president's office includes a vast realm of such speech. DOJ lawyers said in a brief in March, but that traditional function is one of public communication. It does not include inc incitement of imminent private violence of, of the sort the district court found that plaintiffs' complaints have plausibly alleged here. Do you want to know what's happening? Do you know what, what's going to happen right after this? Far left extremists, police officers, Capitol Police, DC police that were at the January 6th, they are going to be told by the DOJ, sue, sue, sue. Within the next matter of weeks, I predict that they're going to come out like a swarm of wasps with civil lawsuits against Donald Trump. And this is all going to be at the command of Biden's regime, Biden's White House, Biden administration, and his Department of Injustice. Why? Because we have an election coming up in 11 months. They want to make sure Trump and his team are tied down as much as possible, stressed out, spending money left and right, and doing everything and anything but running their campaign smoothly. This was all done as a much bigger scheme, as a much bigger play in, the, in this chess game. But they're playing 3D chess. Trump is playing 5D chess. This was all done on purpose to tie down Donald Trump with more BS headlines from the legacy media, more stress on him and his family, more, more financial burdens, to fill his schedule with court dates and court dates and more court dates from Big Panny Fanny in Georgia to the documents case in Florida to the January 6th Jack Smith in D.C. Right? And it just keeps going to the uh, brag in New York and now to these civil lawsuits. What they want to do is they want to put a lot of stress on him and at the same time, this is... Mental and psychological warfare against Trump's uh, base. But here's what they're not going to do. Because the DOJ and FBI admitted that there were hundreds of undercover cops, feds, foreign agents dressed up in MAGA gear pretending to be Trump supporters in the January 6th crowd. Oh, no one's going to sue them. The DOJ is going to make sure no one's going to sue them. I even predict that there are going to be undercover cops or undercover feds that were in the crowd that are going to come out and sue Trump. I'm just throwing that prediction out there. But we're going to see how it all plays out, ladies and gentlemen. We still got this in the bag. We're going to save America. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Check out all the other videos. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload Trump 2024 or sooner.